uh, for the first time I cannot control my emotion and I start crying. Uh, the people that I have around that makes me happy. So that's the real achievement I have. Yeah, my, my father passed away more than 10 years ago. My mom, she's still alive, age of 85, and despite the two heart uh, surgery she had uh, last year, this summer she was following every game of Team Latvia, cheering and, uh, you know, supporting. Uh, my father was uh, an accountant. He grew a family with four kids. Uh, my mom uh, staying at home and uh, she, she really helped all of us, you know, old, old style family. Uh, my oldest uh, brother and sister were in basketball. So it was a kind of natural uh, consequence. Uh, you know, I start uh, going in a gym, in basketball gym in a very young age. And uh, from the very first practice, I fall in love with this sport. About uh, playing, as I told you from the very beginning, uh, it was uh, very nice to play basketball, to, you know, to share experience with uh, teammates. And I had the very good coaches who helped me, I mean, who feed my, my passion for the game. And about coaches, coaching, uh, it's, uh, you know, because of my teacher in school, who believed that I have the value to uh, to run a team, to be a coach. So it started uh, like a joke. He became a passion and after my job. But still I have uh, age of 58, the same enthusiasm and the same will and the same curiosity of day one. Uh, of course, uh, when I became a coach of the men's team in Livorno, that is the city where I grew as a as a coach, being uh, uh, the main coach of the youth program. One day, it was uh, 1996, uh, the president came to me and he said, Luca, it's time to fly at the next level. You will be the coach of the men's team. And uh, I realized that I was entering in a new dimension. And uh, that's probably the moment where I realized that uh, Basketball can be my job. As a player, I have a pretty high opinion about myself. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to have a pro career, but I realized that uh, at some point uh, uh, I cannot. And I dedicate all my energy and my effort to coaching. The most important as a coach, I feel the responsibility to valorize the personnel. And when I talk about the personnel, I'm not talking only about the players, but all the people who work with me. And uh, that's what uh, lead my effort every single day. I want to make the people around me better. I cannot teach. I ask just the people to take what they want, what they believe, uh, and uh, that's it. So I believe uh, Valorize is, uh, is the main goal for every coach uh, with uh, self-confidence uh, trying to give them the instruments to respond to adversities uh, you know especially when we are in front of struggles I like to talk about the anti-fragility you know every stress and every trouble can create uh, some fractures uh, we cannot be the same but we will find a, a new shape to be performant. So that's my mission. I want to create the condition for them to be capable to respond to adversities. Every time, especially in the most stressful situation, like uh, at the beginning of a tournament, uh, like, uh, like the World Cup, I try to control emotion and uh, move their focus into the joy and the pleasure of basketball because uh, that the part where they work, uh, 
you know, the, bo the most and in a better way. So not to forget, first of all, we have to have fun. I was a kind of a weird story. I was in US as a assistant coach in a G League team when I received a call from Kaspar Tsipras, uh, general secretary of the Federation, but for me still one of my ex-players, you know, because uh, I was coaching him in 2000. And uh, he told me about the moment uh, of uh, Latvian basketball that in his opinion needs a foreigner coach trying to respond to adversities and to escape from such an unsuccessful moment. It was a matter just to take some hours, uh, but the decision was uh, pretty easy. You know, one of, our, of the main goals uh, since my arrival was to create a strong team identity and a basketball style. And actually, after two years, I can say there is a Latvian way to play basketball, and that makes me very proud. It was after the game uh, we won home against Serbia in uh, such an unbelievable atmosphere in Arena Riga, totally crowded, uh, with an amazing performance on the court, beating Serbia, being a first in a group, in a group where everybody was expecting us to get to be eliminated. And uh, because of the effort, the quality of basketball, the atmosphere around, uh, since the very beginning, uh, you know, the national anthem, where uh, the people sing the, the anthem a cappella, was, uh, you know, emotion and emotion. And when I entered the locker room, uh, and everybody was so happy. Uh, for the first time, I cannot control my emotion and I start crying. And I was um, amazing, but extremely natural. And the last one was uh, after the game with Lithuania, because of course, uh, my mind went back in the last two years and see those guys realize what they did uh, on a court uh, was uh, for in one moment, uh, I cannot uh, remain, uh, let's say, uh, uh, calm and uh, was difficult. I stopped my speech because I was crying. The last uh, thought after last game with Lithuania was uh, I was sad because it was over. I enjoy every single moment I spend during tournament and during preparation and during the last two years with those guys and the people I have around. Probably the highest peak of my career. Uh, people uh, can see the success, the wins, the popularity and everything it seems to be so special. Uh, but it's not uh, that achievement uh, who makes me happy, but is uh, the people that I have around that makes me happy. So that's the real achievement I have, that I totally trust and love the people I have uh, around me, especially in Latvia. Mm, I bring every single day a lot from the people I have around. My coaches, uh, Artur and Yanis and Oscars, uh, all the people in the federation, all the players, uh, uh, they give me a lot. Ah, it's, I'm trying, I'm trying to work uh, uh, every day to keep uh, my lifestyle, my life, uh, private life and basketball separated. It's uh, difficult, it's difficult because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's tough not to get affected by the stress and the emotion of uh, such a specific job, uh, but uh, me and my uh, me and my family we we agree that we will try and we have to try to keep basketball out of the uh, house uh, wall. I'm not doing plans anymore as uh, in long term. I'm going through short terms, and that's one of the reasons why you know people don't understand that I'm. I'm not staying in the same place uh, for so long, but it's because I don't want to make long-term 
plants. I wanna do what I like. I wanna stay where I feel happy. And in Latvia, I feel happy. I won a lot. I lost a lot. And I have the tendency to forget my success and to remember my losses. <laughs> so how not to have regrets? You know, I really like to work in a direction where I can make the people better. And, uh, and as a person that I'm polite, I'm straight, and that's it. I'm a kind of simple value person. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a constant uh, inner conflict and inner storm. But uh, most of the effort is uh, to present a calm and balanced uh, picture. But of course, uh, the internal emotions are different. I really like what I have and what I'm living. I will not change anything. I'm, uh, I'm totally where I want to be and uh, how I want to be. If you are looking for something uh, attractive and fancy, uh, not really, my, my life is quite normal. Uh, but uh, the emotion I had and the opportunity to meet the people I had is something uh, unbelievable. I travel all around the world doing basketball, exactly my love, my passion. I met people who gave me so much. So it's, uh, it's a perfect picture. <music>